everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick demo of registration system. Here first we have login page. Okay, so here let me show you how actually it works. First time enter the username that is Sam and I have put it the password pass. And when I click on this, it's let me move to the uh, dashboard. Okay. So here I have log, log out and exit. Let me show how actually it works. Uh, if I'm entering the wrong user ID and password, it will say enter the valid username or password. So let me enter once again. Okay, now here we have this dashboard. In this dashboard, I have shown you features log out and I have features exit, exit. Actually, exit put close this application. Okay. So let me show what how a registration works. When I click on registration, this will open here. And if you try to open it once more, then it's not it will not work because I have set this feature that whenever you click only one, the one form will be opened. Okay. So here it's a registration form. You can use this in any application by just changing name. And here I have shown you the details of the user. Okay, so it's actually taking time. So I'm clicking on this student detail. Here you can see the detail of the student who, which are already registered. Now let me show you with, by registering a new student. Okay, so let me say J. Next name is J Kumar, and after that mobile number. If you enter mobile number in the string format like this okay so let me I have it I have actually used here a security feature that you cannot enter the wrong number like you cannot enter the characters into this mobile number okay so I will show you how actually it's working now father name is something Kumar and name is Kumari and let me just share at the rate gmail.com and some address maybe let's say it's now and now I'm going to save it so it's actually so now we click on the save button and here you can see that I have entered the characters into this mobile field. Okay. So when we click on this, here it say that please enter valid number or valid email address. Okay. So what we need to check is here is mobile number and email address. So mobile number, let me enter the valid mobile number. Okay. So I have entered the valid mobile number and let me just delete this and try to save this. So please enter valid number or valid email. Here I have checked the condition that email should be. I have actually used regular expressions and here let me say at the rate gmail.com and now we can save it because it's in the integer format and it's in the in the mail format. So okay, data saved. And you can see here that automatic automatically this ID is good being assigned to the uh, record and here we can see the details of you registered users okay so now just close it and if you want to update some detail of any student then just you need to do is just put ID here okay so let me check the ID of student and I want to edit the details of 18 okay so just click on this update detail okay let me just close it and just click on this update detail and I id is 18 which we want to update here to, there is no record with id 1 so it's showing that there is intervalid id and at this point when there is no valid id all the fields are disabled okay and we cannot even update anything because we need some data to update so what we need is i'm giving this valid id that is 18 when i this give 18 then this will show this icon after that you can edit 
every fill. I'm just going to change this Patna 022 Delhi 0568 like this and update. And it's asking for this will affect your data. Do you want to confirm? If I click on yes, then it will update it into the database. And if I click on no, then th we will revert back to the same page. Okay, here you can see nothing has happened. Now I'm going to update this. Okay, updation successful. Okay, so after the updation, all the fields became empty and we cannot enter anything in this text box. So after that, please enter ID. If this field is empty then it will ask for enter valid id or enter please enter id so after the updation let me show you the details here i have changed the address to delhi okay so let me delete one record and i want to delete this 17th so what we need to just do is here when i click on this one row or cell that this array is being saved into a variable in the back end and it's working with the delete option you just need to here i have mentioned that click on row you want to delete if you want to delete the 17 you just need to delete and it's asking for this will affect your data do you want to confirm if you know then it will revert back and if delete and you enter this yes then record deleted and okay here you can see that 17 is deleted. I can also show you with this, with this here student detail, you can see 17 is missing. Okay, so, and this logout will work definitely fine. You have to sure you want to log out, yes. And let me show you once again that Sam and password, just log in. And if I enter on this exit, are you sure you want to exit? Yes. And here we can see this application is closed. So what I need to say is, if you want the source code, then the source code link in the description and please like, subscribe and share. Please subscribe us and support us so that I can make more videos and more projects for you. Thanks for watching.